back to NutriCat's Cupboard. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite lunchtime treats, and that is a replication of the hot tea sandwich. So pretty much it's going to be a hot turkey melt with a spicy mayo sauce and some cranberry sauce as well. So the first thing we're going to do is make my Baja sauce. So I'm going to start with light mayo. I'm going to need about two tablespoons to start with. Now, of course, you can measure this out if you like. But I'm just going to estimate here, I'm going to take my tube of mayo and do one nice squirt there, another squirt, and that's about two tablespoons. <clears throat> Next, I need to add some acid. So I'm just using some apple cider vinegar because that's what I have here in my house. You can take any vinegar you like. You can also use lemon juice if you have it. We're going to need about one teaspoon of that. Of course, you can measure it. I like the trick of using the cap that it comes on. About half or so of the cap will be about one teaspoon. I'm going to slowly pour that in and then dump it right into my sauce. Great. Now I need to add my spices. So the first thing I'm going to start with is my black pepper. About an eighth teaspoon here, so about four or five shakes of your pepper grinder. If you like it spicier, you can add more. Then I'm going to add on to my cumin, so a great spice used in both Indian and Mexican cooking. About a dash or two here, so if you have the shaker kind, give about two dashes of the cumin. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with my onion, salt. Open it up, dash or two there. Then I'm going to add my garlic powder. You can do minced garlic if you have it, but if you don't have any on hand, this garlic powder works great. Two dashes. And lastly, I'm going to add my red pepper flakes. Once again, more or less, depending on how spicy you like it, a couple of dashes here, and we're ready to mix. So I'm going to take my spoon, mix together my Baja sauce. You can see it coming together here, nice and creamy. And that is going to be the base for my sandwich. So while I'm building my sandwich, I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to take a hoagie roll, and I'm just using some regular sandwich hoagie rolls here. You can really use whatever type of bread you have on hand. I like a hoagie for a heartier sandwich, but once again, it's up to your personal preference. So I'm going to grab one of those. I've already split it open. First thing I'm going to do is spread my Baja sauce on both sides. So let me take my Baja sauce, take about half to start, open up on one side, and then just gently place it in, and then you can use your back of your spoon or a knife to spread it all over the sandwich. So you want to try to get as much of an even coverage as you can. That looks good. Let's go to the other side. Same thing with the rest of my Baja sauce and place it on my sandwich. Now, if you wanted to double this, totally doable. Just double the amount of ingredients. You could make one for now and then one for later if you wanted to eat it, or you can make one for you and possibly even your roommate. All right, now for the toppings. So the first thing I'm going to add is my lunch meat. And today I'm just using a Hormel Natural Choice Turkey. I really like this type of turkey. It doesn't have any of the nitrates or artificial flavorings in it. You can learn more about that in my lunch meat video. But I'm going to take a few slices here. So let me just go ahead and open the package. And I'm going to start off with about three, maybe even four slices of lunch meat. So I'll go ahead and take that out. I like to just take one piece at a time and sort of tuck it in and fold it right into my sandwich. So about three slices works perfectly here. Then I'm going to take my secret ingredient and that's going to be my cranberry sauce. So about three tablespoons here. Once again, I'm just going to open it up and then really spread it all the way onto the lunch meat. I'm going to do one more tablespoon. Great, that looks good. Okay. And then lastly, I'm going to add my cheese. Now I'm using a pepper jack cheese here. You can buy this in the deli section or you can buy it in the refrigerated cheese section. I'm going to start off with two slices. So I'm just going to place it right on top of the cranberry sauce. And that's it. Now I'm going to place it in the microwave for about 45 seconds or so to let all of that cheese melt. So let's go ahead and place 45 seconds on. All right, while that's microwaving, I'm going to prep my toppings for my sandwich. Of course, it's your sandwich. You can put whatever kind of toppings you like on it. My favorite is some pickles. 
red onion, tomato, and lettuce. So the first thing I'm going to do is slice my red tomato. So I just have one tomato here. Take the top off. And I'm just going to gently start slicing lengthways down my tomato. Okay. Should be maybe one more slice. Once you're finished with this tomato too, just go ahead and wrap it in plastic or put it in a plastic baggie. You don't want to put it back in the fridge. You'll get really mealy and it won't be very appetizing. Just place it out on the counter whenever you're ready. Okay, next topping I'm going to start with is my red onion. So I'm just going to go ahead and gently slice off the end here. Okay, I'm going to peel some of this skin away. My knife, once again, just small, thin slices. You don't want the red onion to overpower your sandwich at all. Now I've left the bottom bulb on. That helps to reduce some of the tear producing gas that onions give off. So if you keep the bulb on, it usually helps to decrease that. Same thing with the tomato. Wrap it in plastic and place it on the counter until you're ready to use it. All right, my toppings are done. So let's go ahead and check on my sandwich. Oh, looks so good. So you can see all that cheese is melted in there. Now I just did 45 seconds just to melt it in. And now I'm ready to add my topping. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my pickles. So I just have some jarred pickles here. I'm going to take a few slices in. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add my lettuce. So I just took a head of lettuce that like, I used for my salad, just tore a few pieces off, place it right onto the sandwich. Then I'm going to add my red onion. and my slices of tomato. Great, perfect. Okay, and here you have my nice hot tea sandwich.